So here's a visual of what I'm looking for on this assignment. Um, if you go to launchlibrary.net, you'll see a web page that has an API, API documentation for upcoming rocket launches. And so if you click on API documentation, what I would encourage you to do is read this overview right here to start with. And then the one I'm interested in or the one I'd, I'm leading you to is this launch, um, sorry, this launch bullet. And this is the one that we'll be utilizing for this particular assignment. So read through the launch uh, details and here are the parameters of what you need to send and here's what you're going to be re able to receive back. Um, also what I would encourage you or suggest for you is not to use this format on the left but use these re get requests on the right. Um, for example, if I copy this particular get request and put it into a browser, then what you'll see is I'm getting some JSON back, so this is good. So this gives you an idea. Here's the raw data. Here's the JSON data. So this gives you some information as to, gives you some clues as to if you put in this particular parameters, what you're going to be getting back. And so the idea here is that a couple of things I want you to be doing on this assignment. So you're going to be utilizing those APIs. When the page loads, you're going to load just the next five launches that are coming up. So you'll look in the documentation at how to do that. So here you'll see the next upcoming launches that are scheduled. I've included their date and also the, uh, the name of that launch. You'll see that, well, I put in here the next launch, and that's simply referring to this first one that's coming up, the first one that got returned. You'll also see this countdown. And so the countdown is doing a countdown to the first uh, launch that is returned. So the very next launch in this list is July 22nd. So that's one day, 14, 50 hours away, 55 minutes and 43 seconds. So that's what we're doing on this one. You'll notice that there's also some more buttons down here. So the default is this next five launch button. So these two are doing the same thing, the default and then this button. If I click on this button that says next five Falcon launches, you'll see that they are just the Falcon rockets. I assume those are rockets. I don't know much about rocket ships, but I think that's what that is. And then the countdown is gonna to change to the countdown of that particular rocket. And then next five, Ariane, I don't even know what that says, but there we go, the next five of those. Again, the countdown is going to be for that first returned rocket or first return launch. And then here's one for the launcher one. So hopefully that gives you a good overview. I also want you to notice that I'm serving this file directly from the file, so you don't actually have to have your web server running in this particular API instance. And I'm also not utilizing a PHP file. If you've done the work in the uh, chapter for this week, you'll see that they use a PHP file in order to call this API. You do not need to do that for this particular assignment. You can just uh, utilize it in the JavaScript file directly. So if you have any questions, don't feel shy to reach out uh, as to what's expected. And that's the assignment for this week.